everyone and welcome back to a brand new Efteling vlog! Blue. So, uh, in the last one we just finished off having our pancakes so now we're going to carry on and we're going to try and do well the translation is dream flight uh, and we're going to visit a magical forest where there's elves We've just stumbled across this donut place look at this, it's a donut with ice cream inside so many good snacks here so many snacks so in the last vlog we said that we'd written out a rough itinerary and the funny thing was that we realized while we were waiting <laughs> in the line for Symbolica that we'd plan things in between food and then watching Ravelang <laughs> but we hadn't actually factored in the eating time so <laughs> Like we just had food listed as three and then loads of stuff after that Before in between. Five. Yeah. So we've had to drop a few of those. Because it's now four, <laughs> so we're hoping to get on this ride and then maybe probably get our seats for the show. Yeah. Ah, so that's where Ravelang will be. And then it's over here, the ride. Dark ride through a dream world. Hey, fishy, fishy, fish. Is that fish. goldfish? It's huge. <laughs> Off we go! I love rides like this, I just feel like I'm flying. Yeah. One thing I'm really loving is the soundtrack. Yeah. To the different rides. Whoa! this in the souvenir shop we take your Efteling souvenirs to the exit or your accommodation for free I used to love these as a child <laughs> I had one with a fairy I think it was a fairy as well I quite like this mug this is uh, of the fairy tale forest I think We've got all fairy tale characters on it including long neck we'll find out more about him in a future vlog something that gets a thumbs up from me is that there's water fountains in the park hydration reminder so I think Helda will want to talk at length about that <gasps> oh, last yes, ride. I haven't updated the vlog! <laughs> but you might have to save that for a little bit later on. That's time. <laughs> okay, let's head to get our seats for Ravlan and then I will talk about my favourite ride. <laughs> Here we go. Let's very, see. Very, very excited about this. Let's see the brave knights defend the town. Oh, that was good timing. I got a, a fright. Did you do that? Oh, no, I jumped. The five riders are called to the magical city of Ravalang by Helena. Here they are trained to protect the city in the future. When the wicked Count Olaf appears with his five-headed draconian, the riders will have to join forces. Will they succeed in saving Ravalang? Up the stairs. Ooh. 
<laughs> this set is pretty spectacular already.
was a really good stunt show. I really enjoyed it. And uh, even though all of it was in Dutch, it didn't stop us from being able to understand it. In fact, like the opening segment where um, yeah. some of the people were trying to get the crowd uh, riled yeah. was all done through mime. All so. done through mime. And then the story is like easy enough to follow without speaking the language. Yeah, like if you've, if you've read that they're training up and then they're going to defend yeah. the city, then... It's almost the action. Yeah. So we picked up the spiral potato snack. We got it in barbecue. The Eigenheimer. This looks cool. Right, ready? Mm. <laughs> Good. Mm. Mm. It's like crisp, barbecue crisps on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really nice because the potato is still like soft mm. and a little bit chewy. It's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really the barbecue, good. we'd recommend barbecue as well. Yeah. I think that's really nice. They also do salt and they do red pepper. Paprika, yeah. Uh, but someone thought that might be a bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> as we would say, that was scrum diddly 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 umptious. Diddly umptious. <laughs> we're, we're heading on round to basically back to the front of the park to go and watch the Aquanura. It's going to be slightly different because it's not dark, dark. but we still really want to catch it because we want to hear the music. We heard the, mm -hmm. the, the music. I mean, that's been like everywhere. Then maybe we come back in winter or when, yeah. or maybe when it's open later. Mm. It's dark. Yeah, but the music's been brilliant everywhere, so yeah. I really want to hear that. Um, uh, but we're going to take the long way around so that we can sort of get our bearings a bit. <laughs> so this is like carousel it's like section. It's like a fair. Ah, oh, right. Or like an old school theme park. So there's these machines dotted about, and I think if you put a coin in, uh, two euros, if you put that in, I think there's like a little sort of show demonstration happens. Now I'm not a fan of these chair swings, as Helena that will one point out. Go as high, though. It doesn't it's go as high, so though. you know maybe I could handle that one. <laughs> That's a waffle salon. Too many snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Too many snacks, not enough time. <laughs> Ooh, Efteling Museum, Wonder Depot. Speaking ground plan. In 1961, Efteling visitors from abroad can find their way through the park listening to the ground plan, which speaks in Dutch, Welcome English, French, and German. Holland, world famous recreation center. The Eftelings, where you and your children can enjoy yourselves and relax all day long. That's Dream Flight, Helena's favorite ride. That little feature, the yeah, actual theme park's got its own. <laughs> it's got its own museum. I feel like we've done very well. We have today. <laughs> to be fair, we arrived at about one o'clock by the time we got in. Yeah, we've done quite a few rides. Yeah, would have seen two shows as well mm -hmm. after we've watched this one. Yeah. Um, had, food. had quite a few snacks. Yeah. <laughs> We've checked a few things off the bucket list. And taken list. it all in. Yeah, it's been a really good first day, and then we still have to like check into the hotel and discover all that as well. Yeah, we still got plenty to check out tomorrow. <laughs> so we've got Carnival Festival to try out. I think this is called Vogel Rock. This is the dark roller coaster. Dark roller coaster. Yeah. You're gonna be brave. I don't know. Sometimes I'm better if they're in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> This is a uh, gondoletta, I think. And this is a boat ride and it's 20 minutes, but it looks nice and relaxing. It does. Yeah, the route they go on looks huge. It's really, really nice. It goes nice. all the way around there. You can hear like, the music. Yeah. Here we are, waiting for Aquanura. Girls and boys, one young man. They lived in princess in a beautiful castle. Close to the castle, there was a pond with enchanted frogs. Often she played 
was a golden bowl, but one day the bowl fell in the water with a big splash. It awakened the frogs. And now, together with the frogs, we will bring the boat to life into an enchanted water valley. Very, 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 very quick peek inside the shop. Just a quick run round. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you'd want that shirt, bud. I kind like this as well. The pagode. We have to go on it then. <laughs> so I've been going on about the music, and you can actually get it on vinyl. It has all the rides. Oh, it has my favourite. That's pretty cool, actually. That is pretty cool. So we really enjoyed the Aquanura show. I definitely want to come back and see it in the dark. I was saying to Martin it was kind of cool because it was kind of like a behind the scenes seeing it in daylight. The amount of jets they have yeah. going off is so impressive. Really cool. um, so I can imagine when it's dark and the lights and the fire it'll just be epic. So we'll have to do another trip back to see that. But yeah, heading back to the hotel now. <laughs> So it is really great when you're staying on site. It's just like a 10 minute walk through this gorgeous little forest. And then you arrive at Bosrak. Yeah. Really, really nice after a long day in the park. We're gonna go grab our cases and then we can, we've already been assigned our room. That's on the app. And then I can use my phone to enter the room. The room. So yes, we'll Same be able to, to, to uh, yeah, we'll be able to show you the room. So here we are, we were very centrally located, literally as you walk in to the right and then up in the lift. So here we go. My digital key. <gasps> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're in. Wow. Doesn't it good? <laughs> you bring the stuff in, then I'll walk in with the camera, get our first impressions. <laughs> crazy. Here we go, guys. Oh, wow. <gasps> I'm on a light for you. Wow. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. It's huge. <gasps> so that little living area. Wow, I love it. Oh, I can't believe this. Thank you oh, so look. much. And then, wow. We'll do a proper room tour in a second, but first impressions, this is amazing. This is our century located, we are. <laughs> That's just where we've walked in. <laughs> wow. So just before we unpack and get settled, I thought I would film a quick apartment tour so I can show you everything. Um, it's amazing. Just a huge, huge thank you to Efteling for gifting us this stay. We are so grateful and we're just blown away. It's beautiful. So you enter here. It has a long, 
mirror here as you enter and then it also has some hooks here for your coats and your bags. This hallway space is huge. And then you have the toilet first thing on the right. Again, the decor is so cool. I love all the tiling, the tiling on the floor. It's also, oh, I love this. Um, it's just all so clean and, oh, another little mirror. <laughs> yeah, clean and very, very nice. So that is the toilet. And then the next door on the right is the bathroom. These doors are huge as well. Um, so in here, it's a very spacious bathroom. Again, you have a huge sink, a huge mirror. I love these lights. Um, it has, comes with a hairdryer as well. And then a huge bath. So I like the way that this sort of sits into the wall space. Very, very cozy bath. And then they have um, some Efteling hand soap and some Efteling shampoo. So I'll try that later. But again, a very, very spacious bath. It looks really deep as well. And also a shower head as well. Some hooks up here for towels and also a towel radiator. So yeah, very, very spacious bathroom. Again, you have the Efteling hand soap here. Love that bathroom. And then you move into the main area. Martin's already made himself at home. Oh, yeah. So if you come around to the left, this is kind of the huge, huge main bed. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It looks so grand, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, with the frame. Yeah. Um, I'll come around here, actually. So you have this table at the front here. We haven't opened all this yet. We'll do that in a second. Just love all the decor. I love the panelling here. Very, very stylish. Got some Efteling artwork up here as well. And then, yeah, a huge bed, which looks very, very comfortable. And again, you've got separate duvets. You've got towels. Very nice. And then over here is the living space. Again, love the colours, love the decor. This could be in like a London boutique hotel. It's stunning. So it has lovely rug. This is a game. Yeah. Is these the instructions? Okay. Yeah. So like an Efteling board game. You can try and play that one there. Uh, seating area, huge lamp, big windows here. And again, we are very centrally located. That is the entrance that you walk through. Uh, they have a TV, which Martin's just popped on. Very nice. And then you have some drawer space. You have a fridge. So if you bought anything that you wanted to keep in the fridge, you can pop it in there. Oh, and then you have the tea station. Yes. So you've got some cups, you've got some mugs, and then you have a kettle, and this looks like a coffee machine. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then just in the corner here, you have some drawers. So you have some hanging space with a few hangers. And then you also have a safe and some more drawer space. And then finally you walk through here and this is the children's room. I love this. I think it is so stunning. So it's a huge bunk bed. I could imagine children would just love it. It's literally like you've just stepped into a fairy tale. Even the bedding is Efteling bedding. I just think it's so magical. Um, here you have this gorgeous like wood artwork with a um, book. So they can read a bedtime story. I love that. Underneath. Oh, these are little hats. <laughs> little Efteling Bozrak sleep hats. Oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love that. Um, over here, mind our suitcase, you have some hanging space, some more artwork, and then you have some drawer space so they can put their clothes in there again two huge windows and that is it it's amazing love it oh wait this might have like a few goodies tea bags maybe and stuff oh let's open. i love it i love oh. like how it's 
The theming pods? is amazing. Yeah, they look like coffee pods. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You have some tea. It's like a little basket of goodies. <laughs> what are they? Oh, it's so like sugars and creams and things. That is so cute. Right. What's inside this? So Martin just read that out to me, but it was a bit long. <laughs> um, but it is just a lovely welcome letter all about Efteling and what you can do here. Oh, I'm just at home. <laughs> oh, this room is just brilliant. And uh, we've just been blown away by all of it. And like, it's just really affordable. They've got multiple accommodation options. There's a Bozrak Hotel, but there's also Efteling Hotel. And then we are very excited to let you know that in 2024, uh, they are going to open up at the Efteling Grand Hotel, which is going to be the first Efteling Hotel actually inside of the park. I feel like you're <laughs> to experience that. So definitely check that out when it opens. The reason I've got sunglasses on is because I've got I keep getting sun cream in my eyes, and my eyes have gone all bloodshot, and you don't need to see that. <laughs> but we're popping along to reception to book breakfast. So here we have reception. Oh yeah, we're gonna go in the shop. See if they got some milk. That's good. I like this. I can picture you wearing that. <laughs> it is 40, so the same as the ones in the park. <laughs> I think that's that's coming over with me. <laughs> the kettle's on and oh, we're looking. <laughs> we're looking at ordering some pizza. We went down, we booked uh, breakfast for 8.30 for the two mornings yes. we got here, and then we're gonna have Dinner in the restaurant tomorrow at 7.45. <laughs> so these are the type of pizzas. Californian pepperoni. Barbecue truffle. Ooh, barbecue chicken. chicken. That's a favourite of mine. Hot and spicy extravaganza. Five cheese. Ooh, barbecue is. meat lover. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pizza hamburger. Oh, there's chicken nuggets. Oh. Oh, there's lots on offer. Oh, desserts. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. Lots of ice creams. <laughs> oh, yeah, beverages as well. I was looking at the rules of the game. Uh, the hourglass game. Join Mr. Sandman and his owl Yoo-Hoo Howdo as they fly off into the night sky. And the goal, it's our job to get all the children to sleep before the hourglass runs out of sand. Oh, wow, you have to do this in 20 minutes. Oh. And then you start from here. And then each number corresponds with something that happens here. Like miss two turns or move to number 14. And I'm guessing it's first person to get to the end. These are the pieces. Got a squirrel. A tree. Is that, I think, a rabbit? Fox? Or is that deer? So, our food has arrived. Fantastic. And um, what's good is they give you this bag, uh, which contains some utensils, but you also just put your waste in this bag and then leave it outside the door and they take it. I'm so excited! And here it is, I went for the barbecue meaty pizza. Oh, this is good. Garlic bread, and then I'll pass you over to Helena, I can show you the Hawaiian. I got the Hawaiian! Ready? <gasps> mm. Smells so good. I'm really hungry actually after a full day in the park. <laughs> I feel so at home here already. I'm just so cozy. <laughs> um, I have just been updating my Instagram with loads of stories from today and it's just made me relive the day and just it was such an epic first day wasn't it? We got oh, so much done. It was brilliant Ellie. <laughs> did you say? It was Brilla tell the <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to chat about the ride, which was my favourite ride of the day, <laughs> which I know is a lot of people's favourite rides, and I completely see why now. And it is called Droom Blucked, and it means, <laughs> sorry <laughs> about that pronunciation, it means dream flight. And it was just magical from start to finish. It's like, it feels like you're just flying through your dreams. You've got emotional. Yeah, the, the soundtrack is beautiful. I'm definitely going to find that on Spotify. And I think it's quite an old ride. I think it's been there for quite a while, but I can 100% see why it is people's favourite. It was very immersive. Very immersive. 
a lot of the rides, just... like every ride we went on, I think yeah. was, was very immersive. Really immersive. But that one in particular was pure magic. Loved it from start to finish and I already can't wait to go back on it tomorrow. <laughs> so I think for the rest of the evening, probably gonna have another cup of tea, might have a bath and then get ready for bed because mm. hopefully we will be up for the early time. Well, we, we have, must. We have to be because uh, we got breakfast at yeah. 8.30. Uh, I'm planning on, I might go for a run in the morning. See, well, I'm sort of holding myself accountable here. Yeah, you've so told the vlog now. I might take the uh, GoPro and I might go around like the grounds. Yeah, it does look very nice. Yeah, because we're in the centrally located part. Um, so as soon as you walk in, that's where we are. But further on, it's like a whole village yeah. that we haven't explored. With like lodges and houses and a big lake. Looks stunning. But yeah, we are going to get an early night and then we're going to be up early for more fun in the parks tomorrow. I think we're going to hit some of the coasters in the morning. We'll see what ones Martin gets on. I might be flying solo <laughs> on a few. Um, but yeah, we're super excited. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Yes, yeah, so if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Toodle, pipsky. I'll be alive.